Hi all, welcome to Team of the Week 32. This looks like a pretty tasty Team of the Week. Some nice individual cars to look forward to and honestly could be some nice second and third in forms to enjoy too. So we can smash likes would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. And remember to hit that notification bell if you want to always catch up when I'm always uploading, which is usually daily. So hopefully you enjoy this Team of the Week. So Ariola made 8 saves and kept a clean sheet in PSG's 1-0 victory over Bordeaux and I feel should be a cheap and fairly nice looking informant actual opinion. Chris Smallin, 1 goal and a clean sheet because there was a lot of midweek fixtures from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, cards like Smallin for example should get into this week's team of the week. Cool Bally got a goal in Napoli's 1-0 victory over Juventus, big game, 90th minute header. Honestly, a cracking header as well, and I would say should get into this week's team of the week. And that will be a nice card, actually, for a second in form. The Vrij got a goal and a clean sheet in the other Lazio game that they played. Not the 4-3 one, the other one where they kept a victory and a clean sheet. Piatti, he got himself a very solid three goals in his Montreal Impact victory, and honestly, the guy ran riot for them. It was a cr he was lethal, but I think, I'm think i sure one was a penalty, so be wary of that. Are the Turan one goal and one assist? There's plenty of midfielders that could easily get in, but I feel Turan has a very strong shout due to his um, kind of performance and also Istanbul Vajika Spear are fight for the title. Then Luis Alberto, absolute run right. He was the other Lazio player in the 4 3 1 that ran right. He got two goals and one assist, and I feel should get into a third in form. And, but remember, Milinkovic Savic has also been touted as well for one goal, one assist, so be wary of that if you want to consider, but Louis Alberto for me is a stronger shout. Fovan, two goals for Marseille, they won 5-1 and I would say a third in form looks inbound for Fovan um, and would be a very popular card especially as it looks like his team of the season looks inbound for him and I'm sure a lot of people would like Fovan regardless. Could, would be fairly cheap I would imagine as well for a third in form so keep that card in mind if you want to kind of opt for his particular card. Royce played Cam for Dortmund and uh, honest Dortmund were crazy. They, he got two goals and um, Sancho I think got two goals as well but Sancho's not in FIFA but Royce regardless he played Cam and should get in. Lacazette's two goals for Arsenal in their 4-1 victory. His one to watch is the one that's going to be popular and that might finally see the boom that's required and I quite fancy him. Podolski two goals he, they need a reason, I think, to give Podolski this in form, and I feel this is the reason. Um, two goals. If it was, if more players had got hat tricks, I don't think he would have got in. But because there's not as many this week, I feel two goals for Podolski just gives them a strong enough shout. This guy Pugione made six saves and kept a clean sheet for Benevento in their one 0 victory against East Milan. Honest, Benevento worked their socks off in that game, and a lot of it relies on Pugione's six saves. Connor Cody, one goal, one assist, and kept a clean sheet. The goal was a penalty, so be wary of that. But Wolves rarely have in informs this year. And Connor Cody, the captain, got himself a very solid performance. This guy, Salinas, got two goals and a clean sheet in his team's 4 0 victory in Mexico. And don't be w w worried about the club ba badge keeps changing for whatever reason on FIFA. Woba Janazide got a hat trick for um, his team in the Danish league. Uh, Phil Robinson, also part of the hat-trick club this week, um, fairly cheap and straightforward. Johnny Russell got a hat-trick as well in the MLS, that was a 6-0 victory. There might also be a couple of other considerations, but Johnny Russell's strongest shout. Keenan Codro, a hat-trick for Grasshopper Zurich as well, that was a 4-1 victory. Um, Codro's recently transferred as well, so be wary of that card. Bernat's one assist and a clean sheet in Dortmund, uh, by, uh, by Munich's 3-0 victory even. Um, but He's a bit of a punt, but I feel he has a strong shout regardless. Brozovic, one goal, one assist in the midweek game for Inter. As I said, he's a bit of a risk as well due to it being a midweek game and they might opt for other options. But Brozovic, a second in form, would, I'm sure would be very appealing to a lot of people that enjoy his card already. Vanekin, one goal, two assists for Club Bruges. This guy always seems to get in, in form and I think he's not had one yet if I remember right. And... I'm sure if he gets a team this season, this would be a healthy boost. Jahan Bakash, this guy is honest to God. How he has not had an inform this FIFA is mental. He got a hat trick and one assist for AZ Alkmaar. He's had two goals or a hat trick on, a, on weeks, but he's also for most consistent, so he may not get in. So be wary of that. And this guy, Harbu, he got a hat trick. He got like four goals last week or the week before, and he never got in. And if he doesn't get in this week, something tells me he ain't getting a 
in form regardless of whatever he does. But honestly, a very tasty looking team of the week. You've also got Neres, Vargas, Regatin, Ruznak, Cancelo, Tiba, Kuzayev, even Musa. Musa was very impressive over two games. Oof as well could get a second form, but a bit late. But Smash Like as always, sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at G's Legend. Take it easy, all. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.